2022 Hyundai Kona Electric Review, Charming but Flawed. The Kona EV is cute, comfortable, and quiet. But it's also pricey. They're cute, they're compact, and they're completely electric. Among the growing swath of budget EVs, the updated 2022 Hyundai Kona Electric is one of the more interesting options of the bunch. It has unique styling, great range, and a decent crop of technology and safety equipment depending on how you spec it. The car pictured here, for example, is a top trim limited model, so it's loaded with all the good stuff. But once you get past the Kona's cuteness, Hyundai's compact EV fails to nail some of the basics. It's down on space and lacking in performance, and it costs way too much compared to alternatives like the Chevrolet Bolt and Nissan Leaf. In this case, the Kona's quirky looks only take it so far. The biggest styling difference between the Kona Electric and its gas-powered sibling is, most obviously, the grille. Or rather, the lack thereof. The Kona adopts the surgical mask styling pioneered by Tesla, meant to give it a more streamlined look. And with the lunar white paint job, the Kona Electric further enhances its sleek appearance. Gray plastic cladding at the base of the bumper joins the invisible grille, with a unique split light fixture that puts the headli headlights in the middle of the bumper. The charging port sits atop the face too, which clashes with the otherwise ultra-smooth front end. And the wheels on the electric model are unique, 17-inch aerodynamic rims wrapped in low-resistance rubber. Much like the front end, the Kona Electric's cabin is a stark departure from the gas model. This version swaps the traditional shift lever for a button layout, while at the same time coating the center console in a shiny silver plastic rather than the traditional black. It's not our favorite texture. The steering wheel and seats both were real leather, no vegan-friendly materials here, and buyers can choose from two basic, but bland colors, gray or black. The Kona Electric gets an immediate ding for its tight dimensions. It has less headroom and legroom than a comparable Chevrolet Bolt or Nissan Leaf, and it definitely feels tighter inside. The second row was cramped for me, with barely any room to stretch my legs. And as far as cargo goes, trunk space is middling. The Kona's 19.2 cubes behind the second row are worse than in the Leaf, and it's 45.8 cubes when flat or way down compared to the Bolt. Space issues aside, the Kona is pretty comfy otherwise. Its pliable ride soaks up imperfect pavement and impressive sound deadening means barely any wind or tire noise enters the cabin, even at highway speeds. The leather seats are cushy and contour well to the body. The driver's chair offers 8-way power adjustability and lumbar support alongside standard heating. Opting for the limited trim gets you the brand's ubiquitous 10.3-inch touchscreen and corresponding 10.3-inch digital instrument cluster, standard on nearly all top-end Hyundai models. The home screen layout is logical, clean and easy to use, while touch responsiveness is snappy. But Hyundai loses points for limiting wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to the, sm the smaller 8.0-inch screen. The larger display tested here only has a wired connection. And while there are two USB-A ports up front and one in the rear for charging, there are no USB-C ports anywhere to be found. Another minor ding. Beyond that, things like wireless phone charging, a crystal clear, 8-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system, and Hyundai Digital Key come standard. Digital Key is an app that allows you to lock, unlock, and start your vehicle remotely. Speedy the Kona Electric is not. Its 64.0 kWh battery pack and single electric motor produce 201 horsepower and 291 pound-feet. That's just enough to motivate the Kona to 60 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, or more than a second slower than the Bolt. As with any EV though, instant torque yields decent pep off the line, and gives the Kona some zip around town. But the electric model lacks all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive is the only type. In the corners, the Kona EV is only about as exciting as a Honda CRV. The Bolt, by comparison, feels more agile. The Kona Electric steering is well-weighted, but not totally responsive, yielding some vague inputs when you really pin it. The suspension is squishy too, and even with the floor-mounted battery pack giving the Kona good balance, there is a noticeable amount of body roll. Tug on the steering wheel-mounted paddle shifters to access the Kona Electric's regenerative braking system, available in levels from 0, no Regan, to 4. In the most aggressive setting, the Kona allows for nearly one-pedal driving, the EV doesn't come to a full stop unless you hit the brakes, 
but it's strong enough for generous usage around town. When using the standard brakes, they feel a touch too grabby, 